When you think of Volkswagen, you probably think of this car. It's the new Volkswagen Passat, and for 2020, it's been refreshed. It's a little bit more purposeful. It's a little bit more squared off. And coming up right now, I'm gonna tell you all about the new refreshed Volkswagen Passat. Let's start with what's under the hood. Yeah, we've got a two liter four cylinder engine that we've had in the past, the Visa, the B-Cycle engine, um, 174 horsepower. Mm -hmm. uh, so pretty excited about that. It's proven itself then uh, in previous vehicles that we've had. So we know what uh, we've got coming there. And what's it, what's it paired to? Eight-speed transmission. Eight-speed transmission. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about what's new. I mean, obviously the styling's a little bit more purposeful. Yes. Let's talk to kind of what, what you, let's actually start at the front. We'll yep. look at it. Show yeah. me kind of what you guys did to it. So with, we all know what's going on in the segment right now. So we wanted something that has a little bit of pop. And so yeah. we spent a lot of effort then uh, refreshing the exterior and really something that's going to catch the eyes and that we've done here so we've got a brand new front end rear end everything actually and you see in the sheet metal it's completely brand new for the vehicle and really uh, trying to get more of the dynamic uh, very aggressive look here uh, which I think will will satisfy the customers and so here we're looking at the R-Line version of it as well and the R-Line is an additional design package uh, which we will have standard in a trim uh, and it's got that extra bit of pop as well. So. It looks a little bit more kind of square jawed, a little bit yep. more purposeful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of feel like you guys have gone a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, We've, it, that was the intent. I mean, it, it's got to it's got to catch the eye, and that's uh, that's what our intent was here. And I think the overall proportions and, and design language definitely will. It's very aggress aggressive in its language. Volkswagen not only did the exterior styling, but they also worked on the interior, giving it a little bit more airy, more modern feel. Color and trim is new. Yeah. Uh, and uh, also very important is here the the dashboard wanted to give it a little fresher look so we've uh, put the you still have very classic uh, Volkswagen language here design language but with the air vents now integrated into the dashboard a little bit higher it adds a, adds a bit to the to the design we've got the new glass uh, eight inch screen uh, that's available in there and colors throughout. One yeah. of the things that's always set the Passat apart was that it had best in class rear legroom. Mm -hmm. Is that still the case? Absolutely still yeah. the case. Legroom and as well the, the, the storage. This was something that our customers told us very clearly. This is this is what we want to have. We like it. It's comfortable for the road, comfortable for our kids, and that's something that we listened to. Didn't want to touch that too much and, and make sure we still offer that for the uh, customers. No, how tall are you? I'm 6'2". Me too. So why don't you sit down and let, let's show them. <laughs> yeah. Let's show them how big that is. Extremely comfortable second yeah, look at row. That. Yeah, look at you've got tons Knees of room are back. back here. I'm laid back. I'm in a very comfortable position right now. I'm feeling good and that's what we've heard from the from the customers. That's what we know the feedback is, and so we didn't want to touch that. How is this different from the German Passat, or is it different? Yeah, it, it is a bit different. Yeah. Uh, this one's much more tailored than to this market, and uh, the Passat is is going also through sort of a revitalization over in, in Europe right now and getting ready uh, for what's going on there in the segment. Um, we're still here on our on the platform, the underpinnings that have, of the predecessor, uh, and and with purpose, we knew what what the customers want here. Uh, and we said, hey, there's no reason to really to change the underpinnings, go at the exterior, go at the interior, and that's what we did. And when you're looking at competition, I take it you're looking at Camry, you're looking at Accord, right? You're looking at kind of the, the, the full-size sedans. We are, yeah. yeah. The Camry, the Accord, the Malibus. And every, everybody has a little bit of unique offering, a unique situation in the market as well. Uh, and, and we do too with our fun to drive and uh, design expression. And, and that's what uh, we wanted to build off with, with this. And, and so we still have a very, very solid offering in, in that sedan segment, uh, and yeah, we know what's going on, but it's, uh, uh, it's still a very important segment, it's still a very large segment, and so that's why we said, hey, it's, it's time to freshen this up and, and go at it pretty aggressively. Will there be any other power options, or is it just the four-cylinder? Nope, cylinder? we've got the one, we've what? got the one four-cylinder, the two-liter. Yep. And any, any idea, of, will there be a four-motion, or is it only two, front-wheel no, drive? it's only front-wheel front drive, drive, yeah. Um, and what's your favorite part of the car? I would have to say, <laughs> When I stand back, yeah. the new color, this one yeah, in particular, really pops, yeah, this one pops. Yeah. And when you see it all come together yeah. after months and months and months, um, I, I, I still, the pops, yeah, yeah, the pops. And so, I, I would have to say this is this is the car that that I'm, I'm most proud of and really shows uh, what foot we tried to put forward here. Now, still built in Chattanooga. Yeah, absolutely built in Chattanooga. Team's very proud of that and uh, a lot of our experts uh, from, from Chattanooga, but then not only Chattanooga, but the region as well, uh, had a heavy hand in, in making this vehicle and getting it ready then for, for today's show. Let's talk about the numbers. So um, have you announced pricing yet? No, we haven't. Mm -hmm. How about uh, zero to 60? 
Uh, working on that still hasn't isn't out there yet. All right. How about uh, EPA numbers? Not yeah, out. It's not out yet. All right. And when we're still pretty early in that. I would say in the next uh, quarter, two quarters, everything's out. It's all working work in progress right now. When will it be available? Uh, it, by quarter quarter two, quarter three to, uh, this year, should be out on the street, ready to go. And have you driven it? I have. And how's yeah. it drive? Yeah, just like the Passat. Okay, so that yeah. hasn't changed. No, it hasn't at all. All right. Well, thank and you. I think the, cu the customers will be happy with that. Well, thank you for taking the time. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Really yeah. It. Uh -huh. Thanks, Mike. Yep. That's a lot of the important numbers have not yet been released. I'm talking about pricing. I'm talking about fuel economy. But I suspect it'll be very similar to the current car. As always, this is Roman reporting for the fast lane car. Remember, check out tflcar.com for more news, views, and of course, brand new Volkswagen Passat reviews. See you guys next time. Ciao.